on the Vectorworks uh, L list, which is where everybody asks questions about using Vectorworks, um, somebody had um, lost their hard drive, and all they've got left is a whole series of PDFs. And the lady wanted to know, could they re-import these? And the simple answer is yes, and you can still use them as the PDFs of what you had before. Um, it won't give you a drawing to work with, but at least it will give you a drawing that you can print off. Let me show you what I mean. Um, I've got here, um, I'll import a um, single in PDF, and it's called Master Printing Sheet, and it's quite a large one. It's a garden that I, I look after um, and plot all the buildings and trees on as a charity. And when you start, when you put them in um, and start to import PDFs, you'll get this up, which is a dialog box that asks you what you want to do. Now, the PDF that I'm going to import has only got one layer on it. So that's all I'm going to import. And I'll import it straight in. Now, it'll take a little time because it's quite a large file. Um, I suppose if I was doing this and I thought about it, I'd have put in a smaller file. But... Um, Ayo, we'll use this one and see how it works out. Um, there's the file. And one of the things that I tend to do a lot of my drawings is I put a scale bar up. And for this particular purpose, it's going to work out quite nice because I need to rescale this PDF to suit um, the actual units on the PDF. Now, you can see there's my um, little... Um, no, I don't want to save this. There's my scale bar. And I need to re rescale this PDF. Now, what I'll do is I'll just show you um, what it is. And if I go down to my little dims thing here, and it'll click onto the 50, and there's the 60 it's clicked onto. And I'll drag that up. But it's only 796 mil. So what I need to do is to rescale the drawing. So go up into there, click out of it, and highlight the PDF itself. And if you look down, I've got that highlighted. Now we want to go up to Modify, and I want to Scale Object. And I'll scale the object, and I'll say that the, the original distance is 796 millimetres. And there is, if you can see, I've already done this before for a little, t uh, for a little uh, trial. But there's my new 10 meters and if I click OK the machine will go off and because it's quite a large file it takes a while to do but hey ho I'm showing you something which is you know quite a big file going through being sorted out by Vectorworks now it's rescaled it let's take off the original and let's just look down here and let's go to the center of that one shift to get it horizontal and to that one bring it up 9999. Hey, that's good enough for me. Right, let's remove that. And so the drawing is now back into scale. Now, what I'll do is, um, and as you can see, there's a whole drawing I sent out to the client. And you could either do a little bit of work on it or you could um, leave it and send it out as it is. But what I'll do is I will go in and I'll show you how to make a viewport of it quite quickly. Normally, I would go out and I'd make a viewport of, you know, use the right class. I'm just, because I haven't got one on here, I'm just going to go straight into this and do a quick viewport over the top of that. It should be a Vectorworks class, I know, but I'm just rushing this through. And what I need to do is to go into View and create a viewport. Yes, I want to create a viewport. I want to put it onto a um, onto my... Um, uh, new sheet and I'll call the sheet the sheet number is oh I don't know whatever sheet 12 and the sheet title is master map quickly do that page setup now I'm not going to do anything I'll do that one afterwards but hey ho there's the import I'm going to do, and let's put that in. Now, it'll come in at 1 to 100, but the map I know is 1 to 1250. So it isn't on there. So let's just go up to Custom, and let's just create that as 1250. 
and let's click on that and it'll bring it in. And as you can see there, it's nicely positioned exactly where I wanted it. But the page is the wrong way around. I could have done it before. Yes, I know. But what I will do now is I'll go into page setup just to show you what's happening. Um, I've got a Hewlett Packard 1280, which is the good old um, unit that I use. There's my A3, but I want it onto that there. Um, actually, what I'll do is I'll go onto my brother unit because it's the better, the better one. And there it is, all nicely set up and 100% click on OK and the page will turn around and it'll absolutely be right in place. Now what I'll do is I'll just move that out of the way just to show you where the page is and there it is and I'm going to put that one edge there more or less to where I know the page is and I think that's not bad. Let's just shift that up a tad I can just see it underneath and I tab that across just once, a bit too much, a couple of down, a bit more, a bit more, there you go. And there I have it, I have the original drawing all set up as a PDF on a sheet that I can do something with. Now I could actually go back to the design layer where it is and I can start to do some work on it. I can start to put some lines on there, um, do what I like and you know put whatever I need to it's a short-term fix for a problem that you've lost all your hard drive you've got no drawings left all you've got is some PDFs so within about three minutes I've now got a drawing that I can start to put on some information and send it out and the client would not be the wiser or the contractor hope that's okay of course use the right the right classes to put them into I've not done that but hey we've got a nice drawing this is a large file and this one would now be sent out I can either send it out as the PDF send it out as this from my vector worksheet or I can actually start to do some work on it and add some lines and items on in the meantime somebody can be going through and making up um, a new drawing ready for you to um, import and, uh, and use Afraid there's only one way to do it, and that's to trace over the whole thing. But short term, easy fix. Thanks a lot.